as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm doing a top five of my shoes from my shoe collection. Um, I want to let you know now it was very hard to choose just five shoes because I love all of my shoes and I have quite a lot. But a lot of them are in storage. So I chose from the ones that I had in my closet. With that being said, I have a very weird style. So you guys probably won't expect some of these to be in the spot that they are. But it was very hard to come to this decision. And I feel like I did it right, so to speak. Um, there are honorable, honorable mentions at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Starting with number five, my Spizzix, my white cement Spizzix. I did not do a review on these shoes, but this had to make it in my top fives. I've loved this shoe since back in high school. Um, back when the Bordeaux Spizzix came out, I had those and I ran them into the dirt. I love those shoes. I still have them, but like the paint is coming off and the sole looks horrible. It's quite embarrassing, but I love these shoes and there's plenty of things on them that I feel sets them apart. Um, one being the elephant print that's on the front of the shoe. I feel like that adds like an extra touch to it and of course the face of spike lee at the back of the shoe as you can tell with like the 11s unboxing small details like that they grab my attention um and most of all the straps at the sides it borrows certain details from like other shoes. It borrows from the three, the sixes, the fives, um, but it's its own shoe in a certain, in respect to the Jordan brand, it's its own shoe. So this is my number five shoe. Now for number four. Uh, my number four shoe is my red suede fives because it's number four most of you might think that all right i sort of like these shoes no i love these shoes like these are my babies like i love these shoes there's so much my shoes i haven't even worn them yet but i tried them on inside my room walk around my room with them, walk around the house. I love these shoes. I just don't want to get them dirty yet. But this is my number four shoe. Reason being, I have a lot. And the ones that came in three, two, and one, I really, 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 really love them. So these are my number four shoe. Reason for them being number four, I love the material. The color um, on camera it might look kind of orange because I'm looking at it in the viewfinder but it's red like fire engine red I love the reflective tongue from one I love this on the shoelace I call it the pacifier I love this and then if you look at it on camera I don't know if you can see it but right here it says flight again little details like that grab my attention so this is my number four shoe my gray 12s is my number three shoe listen the reason why i said that these are my I prefer these over my Bordeaux 12s is because I honestly feel like the gold brings the shoe out more in contrast to my Bordeaux 12s where they have like the gray and then the white at the bottom. Those are more like common colors. You see a bunch of shoes with, I, f I feel like you see more shoes with the white bottom and the 
silver. I feel like it's plain in respect to the shoe, not in regards to color because obviously burgundy is more of a vibrant color than gray. But for this shoe, I feel like it brings the, the shoe out when you look at the gold eyelets. So this is my number three shoe. My number two shoe. My bread 13s. When I tell you I've wanted these shoes for the longest, like when they released the last time, I was so mad that I didn't get them. I was so, honestly, I was heartbroken because I wanted these shoes bad. I wanted them bad, like very bad. And I didn't get them. But they re-released and I got a pair. Most people that don't know about shoes will not notice this just by looking at it. But at nighttime or when this like when the light is reflecting on this part of the shoe, it, re it has 3M materials, so it's reflective. When you look at it in pictures, like say you take a picture at nighttime and you look at the shoe, it looks completely different. This part looks white, this part obviously looks red. And it just gives the shoe like another personality. In day it might look one color and then at night it looks completely different, which I feel is pretty cool. Especially when you think about shoes because you don't usually see that. But these are my number two shoes. Now for number one. These shoes, I can't tell you how lucky I feel that I got both of them, but especially these, like I really, 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 really wanted these. When they came out, I almost didn't get them because I went to Jimmy Jazz and they said that they only got like 12 pairs, which sounds retarded to me, but no offense to Jimmy Jazz, that just doesn't make sense. Um, I went to Foot Locker and they were out. My last resort was Finish Line. When I tell you Finish Line always comes in with the clutch, like they always, 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 it never fails. Every time that I go to the finish line that I used to live by, because I moved recently, but every time I went to that finish line, they always had just one more size, one more that was my size. This one, I actually got two, which if you know about limited releases, you know it is very, very rare that you will come up with two of the release. So... With that being said, my number one shoe is the 11s. My win like 82 11s. When I tell you I love this shoe. I know I'm gonna catch heat in the comments saying, oh well, the win like 96s are better. The red looks better. Honestly speaking, blue is my favorite color. And if you watched my get to know me tag video, um you know that my favorite color is midnight blue and this is as close to midnight blue on a shoe that you're gonna get so that is one reason two there's so much to this shoe that i love and i've always loved this shoe even back in high school middle school every time that they released like because it was around Christmas time, I always had something else that I wanted and my mom wasn't having it. Like she was just like, okay, it's either this or this, you're not getting both. And I always chose the other item. So I never got a chance to get these, but when these released this year and I saw the colorways, this and the red ones, I had to get them. The only one that I don't have that I really, really, really want is a pair of Space Jams. My reasons for loving this shoe are one, on the tongue. The tongue, 
Let me begin with the material. The material of this shoe, the patent leather feels like a luxury shoe. I've worn this shoe three times and as you can see, the shoe has increased. And I'm not the type to walk like I have a broken leg or to walk weird just not to crease my shoes. At the end of the day, they're gonna crease. And if they do, it might suck, but hey, they're shoes. These have not creased at all. Like there's no signs of creasing, there's no bends, there's nothing. Number two, the minor details on the shoe. Like if you look on the tongue, as I showed you in the unboxing video, it has Jumpman and Jordan on the tongue when you turn it sideways. The shoelaces aren't ordinary laces. They're made like the net material, like the basketball hoop net, which I feel is another detail that many people overlook but that i don't usually see on shoes and because they used it it sets the shoe apart from other ones number three it's a small detail but the carbon fiber that they used on the bottom of the shoe that is one thing that i like about all of the 11s is the fact that they included carbon fiber because there's not many other shoes that use carbon fiber material and honestly from the look of it it looks great and i feel like it just adds to the shoe and as i said i've worn these shoes twice and they still look pretty good like i only wore them once the only thing is this which is from the mat in my car but other than that the shoe pretty much looks like i haven't worn it yet so that's it for my top five shoes. I just noticed after I put them on the sides that it's all Jordans. And I promise you, I have more than just Jordans. I have Nikes, I have Adidas, I have Pumas, I have Fans, I have a bunch of shoes. A lot of them are in storage because I moved like a month ago and I'm still getting situated, but I will be doing a shoe collection video. So stay tuned for that. But I do have honorable mentions because I couldn't just choose five shoes. That's just not me. Obviously, my win like 96 11s. I love these shoes, but I like the 82s more. The red sets it apart from many other shoes because you don't usually see this vibrant color all over a shoe. But I actually wore these on my graduation day when I graduated from UCF and one other time. So I wore these twice too. And these actually look better than my 82s because there's no dirt on them, really. Another honorable mention would have to be my up tempos. I have this white, black, and red one, and I also have the one with the gum bottoms. Those I wore a lot. These I haven't gotten the chance to wear yet, but I will soon. And last but certainly not least, my last honorable mention would have to be my Bordeaux 12s. Because I like 12s so much and I do like the shoe, I do like the gray ones more, but I still think that this is a great shoe. The sail color at the bottom is not like actual white, which I'm glad they did that, as I said in the unboxing video, but this shoe is still special in its own right, aside from the gray ones. Well, that's it for my top five shoes. Coincidentally, they all happen to be Jordans. I promise you, I do have other shoes that would have made it, but these are my top five right now, at least. Um, I do also have more shoes in storage because I had recently moved like a month ago and I'm still getting situated, but I do plan on doing a complete shoe collection video so stay tuned for that also be sure to like comment share and subscribe and turn on the bell down 
somewhere down there to be notified whenever I post a new video and I will see you in my next one.